<coughs> this section we learn how to set up RabbitMQ in Docker. Okay, so we start our uh, first of all and sorry, first open my Docker and we need an image for RabbitMQ. RabbitMQ Docker. My Docker engine is starting. Here you see engine is starting. If I go to official image, uh, it's official image. That means RabbitMQ team developed this image for us. So uh, Docker is started. So what we need if I go there our need RabbitMQ management studio okay so yeah this we need so I copy it and my VS code I format for my scenario that is no need host name name is my rabbit okay Uh, name is my Revit, some Revit name is my Revit, and need to port. RevitMQ has three, uh, uh, two port. Uh, that is, one five six seven two and five six seven two. Okay, so hyphen p, one five six seven two, uh, host and host port and the internal port, and hyphen p, five six seven two. 5672 okay so I copy it and open my terminal and paste it okay so it told us already done uh, and your machine it takes some time cause it first download the image then start the container in my machine already image is present that uh, that cause uh, it open within a few seconds if i go to browser and write localhost and the port is 15672 yay revitmq is come and default username is guest guest and login and you see the it's the revitmq admin portal and here you get some information how much how much queue is run within that time okay connection channel exchange queue and admin okay so all the information is present there if we need to we want to create a uh, user so i create a user admin uh, password is admin123 admin123 and admin administrator privilege add user and no access virtual host uh, we need to create a host host is that means uh, application is specific if you using 10 application and using one RabbitMQ server then your virtual host is different for different application okay so now i set permission for normal virtual host that means for so <coughs> slash virtual host okay so our admin user created successfully and if i go to uh, some rabbit mq important part and if I break down okay so before we go to move forward we first start our coding then I am telling you step by step how to revit MQ work and what why channel exchange queue every portion is needed okay so be, without uh, writing any code if I uh, theoretically explain it you you are feel bored and you are not comfortable uh, how it is okay so next portion 
I am starting my hands-on programming about uh, message broker in RevitMQ. Okay, bye-bye.